In this video, we're going to be solving another Code Wars problem. This one's called sum of digits or digital root. A digital root is the recursive sum of all the digits in a number. Given n, take the sum of the digits of n. If that value has more than one digit, continue reducing in this way until the single digit number is produced. The input will be a non-negative integer. So it has some examples here. If we're given 16, uh, then we would add 1 plus 6, which gives us 7. And 7 is a one-digit number, so well, we're done there. Uh, then it gives us 542. So to find the digital root of that, we'll say 5 plus 4 plus 2, which gives us 15. But 15 is not a one-digit number, so we have to do it again. 1 plus 5 equals 6, and 6 is our answer. So that's kind of how this thing works. So when I've got a problem like this, uh, I like to start with the simplest case. And the simplest case here is if n is already a one-digit number. So if n is less than 10, we can just return n. Okay, so that's one case taken care of. So now we can work on the case where we only need one iteration. So um, if we were to get 16, we should give back 7. So we're going to need some kind of number to keep track of our results. So we'll say let res equal 0. And at some point, we're going to return that result. So return res. So in order to get the sum of all the digits, we're going to use that n number kind of like a stack. So we're going to pop off the numbers from the right side and add them to the result. So we can do that by using a while loop. So we'll say while n is greater than 0. Um, then we can say res plus equals n mod, come on, mod 10. So what that's doing is saying divide n by 10 and give us the remainder. So that's going to give us that rightmost digit. And we're adding that to res. So now we need to actually pop that rightmost digit off of n. So we can do that by saying n is equal to math dot four um, ten. Oops, n over ten. Right, and as you can see in our first in our first test case, we're getting back seven, which is what we wanted. So now we need to handle the second test case where we need to do this process recursively. Because if we add the digits of 456, we get 15. Um, and then we would have to do that process again in order to get 6. So what we can do here is we can say that if the result is greater than or equal to 10, meaning that there's more than one digit in that number, then we can keep doing this process that we already have. So to start things off, we need res to start at something greater than 10. So I'm going to say that it's n for now. And then we'll say while uh, res is greater than or equal to 10, right? So while res is bigger than a one-digit number, then we're going to reset res to 0 so that all of this stuff that we did before still works. And at the end, we'll say n is equal to res so that we can keep doing that same loop that we just wrote. So now you can see both test cases are checking out. Okay, so just to review, let's go over that second test case because it has the recursive kind of aspect to it. So at the start of the function, we're assigning n, which is 456 to res, and that's gonna bring us into this loop because res or 456 is greater than 10. But then we'll reset res to zero so that we can start working on this loop where we're going to add the 6, then the 5, then the 4, which is going to give us 15. So once that's done, then we're going to reassign n to that 15. And then the loop will run again because 15 is greater than 10, and res will once again be reset, and we'll add the 1 plus the 5, which will give us 6. And then, of course, n gets reassigned to 6, which isn't really important at this point, because 6 is not greater than or equal to 10. So this loop will not run again, 
and we'll just return the six. So I hope that was helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can hit the subscribe button uh, and a link to the code for this problem will be in the description below. And I'll see you next time.